Okay, so back in uh, access, here we are, and I just want to show you something about group headers. Now, if you remember, when we did a report, if I go to record, uh, record create, uh, report wizard, and I go and I add a bunch of things here, name, uh, postal code, uh, suburb, I mean, phone perhaps okay so let's say for example we were doing some grouping according to the suburb okay and that's what we did last time and when I finished creating this report if I go back to the one I created in the previous video uh, was it this one yes it was you'll notice that it went and created a header section if I switch to my design view here is that's not design view so here is my page header here is my grouping my suburb header so I was grouping according to suburb and it created a header for suburb now what happens in a situation where you are given an existing report something like this and they say you know what uh, change this existing report so that it includes grouping and you're like, what the heck? Now, there's one of two choices that you have here, guys. You can ignore that and delete this and create one altogether from scratch, making sure it is exactly the same with grouping, which is not easy and takes a lot of time. Or you could do this, switch to your design view. Here you can see a basic report, no grouping um, whatsoever. We have our report header and our page header there. But let's say I said, you know what guys, um, change this so that it shows a grouping according to a suburb, like we did before. But this time it's an existing report. So what do we do? Well, uh, let's go to report design. Let's go to grouping and sorting. Click over there. And you will notice at the bottom, I've got this group and sort box that's just popped up. All right. Now it says here, add a group, which is what we want to do. We want to add grouping. So let's add a group. There we go. What are we grouping on? Well, we're going to group according to suburb. There it is there. Now, the moment I clicked on suburb, do you notice? I'm going to take this away now. I'm take this bottom part away. It created a suburb header right there. There it is. It's grouping now according to suburb. But if we run this now, you'll notice the, yes, the grouping is done, but there's no, um, grouping heading <laughs> there's no label there okay so let's switch back to design view and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab you know there's two ways guys watch this I can just copy that okay I'm gonna copy that field the suburb field and that's in my detail section it's a field it's not a text box it's a field okay so I'm lying when I say it's not a text box it's not a label it's a text box because it's a field so I click over there and I can just post it over there like that and you know what just to make it stand out so you guys like see that it's actually grouping right I'm gonna make it really stand out there it is there okay All right watch let's see what happens now if I go to my report view and there it is it is now grouped it's not pretty but it worked Okay, and there it is. So I have created grouping from an existing report. Okay, how did I do that? Let's just recap, guys. Back to design view, back over there. I went to my report design. I said grouping and sorting. It brought this up and I added a group and I added suburb. Then how did I get this here? Let's just take this out of the way, have some space. How did I get, well, the one way I did was just copy it. It's just a field name, so I just copied it from the details section. Or, or, you could just go over here, add existing fields, same thing, add existing fields, and I could go and add suburb over there, like that. And obviously I don't need him, I don't need him, so I'll just take him away. I'll just put him over there. And just to show you that it works, I'm going to make it uh, ooh, format. I'm going to make it blue. There we go. And bold and bigger. There we go. And underline. Resize that a bit. There we go. So let's see what it does now. Back to report view. Fantastico. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. So go back and watch this video again if you want to see how to format and uh, grouping in an already existing report. In the next video, we're going to do footers and calculations in the footers.